Overwatch and singles, but yeah. he just hasn't had the same success in the teams. Alright, oh, we're just going in. Alright. No two minute hand warmers for Mewtwo King. Uh, Mewtwo King and uh, Zinja playing red team, looks like. Yep. And oh no, Sheik without her jump. That's going to be the edge hog. That's fast, dude. 15 seconds, not even. And it looks like Oro's opting for Sheik. I don't know if I've ever seen Oro play Sheik. Neither have I. All I, all I know the name, I associate the name Oro with Samus. Um, he is a Marth main, and he plays oh. some spaces and Cat Falcon, but okay. like mostly in friendlies. All right. All right. Oh. Good back here. Uh, Peach is still alive off the right side there. Yeah. She just great, keeps great surviving. Yeah. Dog. Honestly, if you hit Peach off the side, she's not dead. Unless you, you're really confident you're going to get it. Don't do iffy edge guards on Peach. Yeah, yeah. Just just take the 2v1. Yeah, go 2v1. Go help your teammate get an edge hog. Go do something. But secure. Secure guaranteed stuff in a lot of ways. This is the name of the game in doubles. Risks are for when you're behind. Yeah, don't, don't take too much time. Yeah. Oh, smart move. Smart move for Moro. If, if you're waiting in doubles, there's probably something better you could be doing. Yeah. Mitsu King's probably going to come back. Oh. oh, and he gets down smashed yeah. by his teammate. Hindog had the opportunity to shine and save his teammate, actually. Oro just barely missed the edge with his up B, and Hindog kind of edgehogged him anyhow. He probably could have saved him. Just sad to see that he didn't. Because right. every stock is precious. Every stock is a possible game. Yep. It's still looking pretty close here. Um, Hindog needs to hold on this this stock right now. He's almost at 100% already. Oh, that down smash is going to take yeah, Something you'll notice about Mewtwo King in doubles, especially when he's not playing like the absolute best players, is he will just walk up and grab and a walk up and down smash. Yeah, he does, he does a lot of strange things in doubles. But I think he's got enough game experience yeah. that uh, it, it ends up working out for him more often than his, his view in general, I've talked to him about this, is that it's it's really easy for that down smash to push someone off the level and set up a kill. Yeah. And when you're playing doubles, it's really hard to get a big extended punish on him. So Exactly. He, he's very comfortable on the ledge and when he has invincibility. So. Yeah. yeah, like right there. Throws Falco off, gets his, gets his edge guard. That's the kind of thing he's willing to trade because... Besides being the better player, this character's really good at doing that with her down smash. Yeah, it's, he, uh, he plays the odds a lot. Definitely an uh, advantage of Sheik and teams. Yeah. So I see blue team doing a lot of really good uh, teams combos, but they're just not able to close up the stocks like red team is. Uh, yeah. They're not nearly as comfortable on the edge. Uh, particularly Falco. Oh, but that really worked out for him. Yeah. I mean, Sheik and Peach aren't the easiest characters to suddenly finish off unless it's kind of by their own hand, but... Uh, but I mean, there's power here. There's potential. Taco's just got to somehow survive. Oh, wow. That I spacing. That's something else. Uh, yeah, that tournament winner ended up killing the dog. Yeah. A little bit of Shino style here by Oro. Yep. Goes with the needle. I'm not sure I agree with that. Well, he had to get back eventually. Yeah. You know what you're going to do. <laughs> Besides up B for the next six minutes, I suppose. It's a, you know, it's a rough rough call. Throw an aerial every once in a while, maybe. Make him respect the space. He, can, he just won't respect your space unless you're, like, one of ten people in the world. It's like, that's kind of how he is. Yeah, that's true. He's just like, I know you're not going to hit me very hard if I down smash you again, so I'm going to try it anyhow. Yeah, I, could, I bet I could beat you to that hit. No. Oh. So now it's like, oh, what do you pick? With Falco, they probably banned Yoshi Story, I would imagine. Yeah, I can see that. Now, Falco would be really good at getting the kills, but at the same time, he's already getting bounced around so much on Battlefield that I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do it on a tiny, tiny level. It's true. I generally get rid of Yoshi Story because I really dislike the... Uh, I, just, guys? I just really dislike the grinder effect. I don't like getting getting made to mincemeat. Yeah. Um, Super like, chaotic. Like you were watching before, my teammate and I play Fox Falcon. Uh, we do not like going to Yoshi's story. Being too fast falling characters, it's so easy for floaties to just push us all over the stage. In truth, it's not something you should... I feel like it's something you do need to learn to do eventually. It is, and it's something that we but. do we do practice, but we will never go there and try to win if we can help it. Which I think is reasonable. I feel the same way. <laughs> Even when my character, whoever I'm playing that day, is actually good in doubles. I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe, sneaky. I see doing some good stuff sneaky right now. Sneaky past Oro. Um, 
Unfortunately, one of those things he's doing good isn't surviving. Yeah, no, that is not <laughs> one of those things. He's having a rough time on that one. Out he goes. Yeah, he's already on his last stop. Yeah. Four uh, to seven. Vigio is still on his first. Oh, when he catches the down tilt, the down smash. Yep. It's just a brutal combo. Props to Hindog for getting the tech right after, though. That's why he was able to shield and not get uh, juggled even more by Vigio. But yeah, that could have turned into a 80-90% combo. Yeah. As it is, he still has a stock, which is just, you know, everything you can ask for when Mewtwo King's on the other team. Yeah, I really think that uh, Hindog should be really careful playing near the edge. Uh, I don't think he should go towards the edge right now. I think he should be holding down center stage. Oh, almost got yeah. the shine. That was a really good attempt. <laughs> hate to see that jump into down smash. Mac D doesn't hate it. I bet he's in the chat craygasming right now. Yeah, the beach mains love that down smash. Yeah, they do. Don't remind me. Uh, <laughs> literal trauma. Oh, no. I didn't even realize. Oh, man, that was that was actually a... Oh, Mewtwo King just going up, delaying his fall, so Vigio has more time to get in there and disrupt. That was... You know, that's the kind of thing you're only going to do once you've played the game for so many years, you have yeah. time to test everything. It's like, I'm just going to up you straight up in the center oh. of the stage here. Oh, he got dead weighted by that. And he died. All right, looks like Oro's going to try to do this by oh, himself. Oh, no, yeah, not, the, not the M2K disrespect. Yeah, he just changed to Zelda and then killed his own teammate. This is not a, not a respectful thing. Oh, he just wanted Vigio to be able to crouch cancel, man. No big deal. He said, listen, you have more tactical options available when you can CC. Yeah, it'll be easier to 2v1. Yeah, so I'll help you. It's one of those backwards logic things where it's like, we'll, we'll be in a better situation with fewer yeah. stacks. Mewtwo King, he's basically times bro of the year. <laughs> if I had to... Wait, you can just do that and then you auto-grab the ledge? Yeah, a lot of characters can do that, actually. That's... Yeah, no, Mewtwo King knows sense. all the characters that can. Of course he does. But does he know why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, I, I love God. the Peach Bomber. The up B stage spike. And the down air. The down air. Oh, God. Your food, Mewtwo King. It's for eating, not for playing with. 